When the days are cold and the cards all fold and the saints we see are all made of gold. When your dreams all fail and the ones we hail are the worst of all and the bloods run stale. I wanna hide the truth. I wanna shelter. This is the old footbridge. Notice the current water levels. In 2009, these water levels were almost two, two and a half meters higher, which you'll see from the following picture. This is the proposed site for our barn. As you can see out there, the current water level poses no threat to home and village. This is our final However, barn design. If this barn was 2009, I'd be under a meter of water. Of the during our trial testing. The barn is manufactured in successively compacted layers by a sheep's foot roller. Then it is backfilled from the excavation up to make up the levels. The water side slope is at a ratio of 3 to 1 to help prevent with erosion. Here we can see our chosen trial pit. We can see the digger clearing the top level of vegetation and also the topsoil. The topsoil was recorded to be 0 0.46 of a metre in depth. We go to a suitable depth. So I've gone below all the soft soil and you can see the vein being much smaller is much easier to push into the ground. I still haven't got any great resistance here. Um, so I'm going to rotate the vein. You rotate it very slowly and it's not moving. I know it's not moving. I can feel it. I can feel the resistance to me twisting it in the soil. But very soon, deep in the soil there, the vein is going to say, I'm not strong enough anymore. I'm going to have to give way. I'm going to yield and it will rotate. And this lower dial will spring back. It has just happened. You might have noticed it. Okay, so we draw the vein and we can read off directly the strength of the soil. So the reading there at that far below where I'm standing, and obviously you add on from there up to here, uh, <coughs> to get the depth of the soil strength is about 33 kilonewtons. In this image we can see three noticeable layers. Topsoil, a brown peat, and a grey sand. In this image, there is clearly evidence of a perch water table. We can see that the soil becomes unstable and collapses on itself. Overtopping occurs when the height of water exceeds the height of the berm. And the water flows over the berm like this and leads to erosion and inevitable mm, berm. Go. Erosion of the berm can occur and on this area here. The force of the passing water and the flood can cause soil particles to get dislodged. Go. Shear occurs when the force of the water exceeds the weight of the berm and uh, leading to slip of the worm along this plane here. Uh, go. Piping and boiling are one of the main causes of berm failure. 
piping, piping occurs when the permeability of the soil K is too low. This in turn means that there's a greater amount of flow through the berm here. This flow at a high speed can cause erosion of soil particles and eventually lead to berm failure. In order to ensure that piping does not occur in your berm, you have to incorporate a factor of safety. This is the hydraulic gradient IC over the, I, the exit pressure. This needs to be greater than 5 to ensure that piping will not occur in your berm. So this is the, the CBR machine um, to set it up um, you need to bring this dial gauge in on top of the rim just make sure that there's no kind of soil or anything on the rim so give it a quick clean off um, straight forward and just pull it across That's a lion Don't forget your shovel if you want to go to work. Oh, don't forget your shovel if you want to go to work. Don't forget your shovel if you want to go to work. Or you'll end up where you came from like the rest of us. <laughs> Digging how to leave it all. And don't forget your shoes and socks and shirt and dang it all. No, don't forget your shoes and socks and shirt and dang it all. Don't forget your shoes and socks and dirt and playing on. Mr. Murphy's a prejudice, make a claim if you take a ball. Any of the safety features of the finished berm, a safety railing along the berm to make sure that no one falls in. Uh, uh, life buoys will be placed at intervals along the berm to ensure that nobody drowns. Uh, appropriate signage will also be placed to uh, alert people.